Hi there, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 Challenge Mode. Last episode, uh, Jackie and I managed to steal the Arasaka's prized possession, uh, the, an experimental shard that is said to give immortality. Unfortunately, things went awry uh, right after we were able to grab the shard. We bore witness to a coup d'etat of sorts um, at the very top of the Ar Arasaka Corporation and um, unfortunately Jackie paid the ultimate price. Mr. Wells has passed. Where shall I take his remains? What? The Excelsior package provides for the disposal of passenger remains free of charge. I merely require a destination. I want to be with his family. Mr. Wells' closest blood relative is Guadalupe Alejandra Wells, proprietress of the El Coyote Coho Bar. I will make sure to deliver him safely. Mr. Deshaun awaits you in room number 204. in the major leagues, Jack. My city has always felt ominous looming over me, but it has never felt so empty as uh, just now. Yeah. Obviously the news of uh, Saburo's death has uh, traveled around the globe the new stations are already in uh, full gear, running um, running the news and uh, basically telling his life story. There will be no remembrance for uh, Jackie, but the world will remember Saburo. Where is the where is the justice in that? No future. Let me in. He waiting. WNS N fifty four. Even the pirate networks. You blowing up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car? Yeah. Yeah, he's there. Dead. Condolences, friend. And the relic. No such luck. Hmm. That's one piece of good news. Good news? Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking emperor! His majesty! I didn't. We Anyone didn't. with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! I know. And that's why we gotta skip Night City, Dex. We? You're the fixer. So fix it. Alright, settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. New place, new identity. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up. I will. Also, I believe I am terribly over encumbered. I'm just not noticing that. 
I guess it didn't matter in the car, but... Did I really loot all of these weapons? And is this what is dragging me down? Or did I just magically get some guns from somewhere? This one only was 17, this one's 36. Still way above weight capacity. I'm definitely not doing this in the best way possible. I should be, uh, well, ideally, I should be calculating the weight, uh, or the value per weight, per unit of weight. But at the moment, I am just getting rid of the things that are worth the least. Okay, and it should, it should be enough. Oleg Darkovich, Dexter Deshaun. Yeah, let me guess. Dexter decided that this, that I'm just another loose end. That needs to be Game risk could be. taken care of. Remember our first convo? Dex! What Seems the fuck? I've chosen the quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. You should have never come back from vacation. That was a big red flag. What Evelyn said, two types of fixers. Dexter is the second type and they are the ones that rely solely on their intuition. The fact that he had to skip down for two years means that his intuition already let him down once. So he was not the best partner for this job. He's already compromised. Hey. Hello. I can't let. Hey, hey, we're chill. Get out of the Surprised to see me? Don't you start start the show without me? Tonight, I'm I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Money can't fuck around with it. Speaking. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. What curled up your ass? Because <laughs> that's a good question. How much do you want for? No need. Wait up. Don't do this. You could still change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. I'm gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. Later, buddy. You're late. Love it when you're mad. Get my southern blood pumping. Get in, or I change my mom. Silverhand. Hey, Shane. Get us <laughs> in the air. Here, put this on, and it stays on. Got she does it? not. Uh, she does not need my help getting on the chopper. Yeah, this is one uh, one formidable lady. Never forget that. Sir, on 
fire. A civical squad off, shut down. APCs on the streets of Watson. Sons of bitches. Skull cracking out there. That us? Johnny's idea. Wayland's drawing Arasaka's attention away from the tower. Collateral damage part of the plan, too. This is the Cub Scouts, Johnson. Chew it up, spit it out. So we have a few people. Rogue, obviously, I've already met, though, um, approximately 50 years into the future compared to this moment. Uh, Shaken and Thompson are. Uh, I'm just making their acquaintance. They have not come up yet. Here comes the steel ring. I like that sound, no entry. Does that really deter anybody? I mean, if you're close enough to read that, you're probably coming in. This may explain why I have not encountered shaking yet. Automated defense is first. Clumped up next. I mean, what is the plan, guys? There's no way you can get cover from this thing. The limbs are just flying off. That's it's kind of gruesome, but yeah. Another turret section dead. Another access point. Get moving. Spider Johnny. Remember the plan? Get the payload on the elevator. Arm it. Let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation. Tower crumbles. Chaos. Screaming roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. The grass green. Do birds fly? You can't see bats. Do rats shit gnats? <laughs> Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on. Spider Murphy. Evac Another person I've not Broadcasting encountered. Across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. And that's coming from a chair jock. Come on. Hold your fire! Speaking of, why are you actually here and not in your chair? Anything left to scrape up when we're through? I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just a little hard. Shot your rope, careful. Goddamn terrorist! Watch that line of sight. She sought it with thimbles, she sought it with care. Pursued it with forks and hope. Johnny, halo. On it. Bushido 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up, we got a delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite Income, run for it! Also, my UI is all messed up. Shoot the cables! Isn't that what I'm doing? Get the rotor spinning, we're on our way! There we go. Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? About what? No, you wouldn't understand. Giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door Please lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. Whole world loves me. Oh my goodness, this weapon. These guys are the elite, huh? They don't want to be desired, don't they? Grab your weapon. Oh, 
I mean, is this weapon some kind of experimental tech? Why don't, why don't they have that if they're elites? Oh, I should not have taunted them. That guy just hit my butt. Nice. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Oh, it was the last guy. All right, fair enough. Closing in on the access point. Slide in. Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? It's called the Liberator. I just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. I Thanks, Mark. Cannot read that. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take a look. now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Imbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terror. Why is this thing on fire already? Now to our reporter on the scene we haven't exploded the tower yet. Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. That looks like footage that would be available after Hit the, the bomb goes, uh, goes off. And it'll be, you know, poignant and whatnot. In the aftermath of the explosion. Oh. Shit! That's Adam Smasher! And this is the guy who already met Les Cyborg here 50 years ago. In the future, he's 96%. Yeah. How did you get out of there? That's what I want to know. My rope is, is strong to be able to hold me with uh, with one hand like that. She is incredibly strong. Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Nice projectile launch system, bro. Why'd you want to bother with the other gun if you have that thing? It's like a grenade launcher in the palm of your hand. Arasaka, Militech. This, uh, this must be the very heart of Night City. Petrochem. Let us try once more. Your associates. Who are they? Why would I tell you? How did you acquire fistful material? It's a secret. Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? <laughs> Come on. You really need sunglasses in here? Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? Really a backhanded slap? Is that the best you got? <laughs> Boss don't look too pleased with your efforts. Let's see. How did Night City actually survive that nuclear blast? That's what I want to know. Right in the heart of the city? Shouldn't they have just leveled the whole, the whole place? I mean, it's a nuclear bomb. Ah, oh, damn. Done and gone. My husband died in that tower. Apologies. But there are fates worse than death. Why is everybody wearing sunglasses? I didn't want him to die. Naze Kono Yona Koto. Why did you do this? Yeah, my thing translated to it. Bring an end to the madness, you freak. Hitowa Usotsuki Jibunji Shimoazam. 
So at this point, Saburo is about a hundred years old. Sokyo or Prime commencing engram transfer. So Saburo's outer appearance will basically go unchanged for the next 50 years. When Jackie and I saw him earlier today, he looked exactly the same as he did in 2023. Hold on, friend. I'm trying to uh, catch up to you so we can have a neural handshake. And you? Who are you? I've heard of before. Might be operating system of the biomodel. My hands are surprisingly clean, all things considered. After 40 in the morning. So this is where Dexter and Oleg dump my body. And it's a good thing they didn't get their hands on Jackie, otherwise he'd probably be lying right next to me. And uh, I'm now ready to see him dumped in a landfill like this. Oh, hello there, Dex. I see you made a new friend. Dare I ask where Oleg is? I have some unfinished business with both of you. Hello, Takemura. Uh, heavier than he looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. <laughs> I wanted to do that. Takemura soldier. お父様の殺害犯を見つけました。この男で間違いありません。はい。1時間後には着くかと。I'm not going to say either of those things because anything I say is irrelevant at this point. This guy is the bodyguard of Saburo. And he's here working for Yorinobu. He believes that I am the guy who poisoned Saburo. I don't know if he saw the cracked glass. Really? Is that the best you got? You just pulled me out of the landfill. What do you expect to smell like? Roses? Or oh, roses, rather? Roses. I think that's something different. You hear me? I need your help. Ah, oh, you changed your tune fast. What happened? This is uh, another one of those uh, turret sections in which you absolutely have to fire the weapon that you're given. Also, you have to use the air hypo. I know uh, using consumables is against the rules of the of the challenge, but uh, in these cutscene type circumstances, uh, sometimes you don't have a choice. If you don't use the air hypo, 
uh, it's game over. So you have to use it and then same thing. If you don't shoot or use quick hacks on the uh, attackers, you, uh, you won't survive this. So in my case, again, because I don't have the perk to regenerate RAM in combat, I have to use, uh, I have to use the gun. No choice about it. Hey there, friend. Nice bike. My friend Jack is in head. I'm already dead, you can't kill me. Nice driving, man. I would have been off that cliff in a heartbeat. Just like him over there. Nice. So Yorinobu obviously decided that Takemura knew too much, he was a loose end. And uh, when Takemura reported that he had found me, the person who could point the finger. Don't you dare faint again. He had uh, Keep your eyes open. Fuck. He sent these guys to um, yeah, assassin from Arasaka to uh, silence both of us permanently. We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? Uh, well, sort of. I know. Someone. We must get to Ripadoc quickly. I should warn you, he's gonna charge us well uh, there. an arm and a leg Do not waste time. for his services. Hector will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call us Tommy. Anyone? Why? Why not just cut me loose? I'm a dead weight to you. Make the call. All right. All right, all right. You didn't really answer my question. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the surface area. Yes. Just come pick me up. I need to get to Misty's Isodzerica. In front of Vix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! I'm just the dying. Link Don't mind me. Damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. The which muscle? If I hit the vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed. I suggest you, will if you do nothing. You don't do that then. Refrain I from think doing I that. Have the now proceed to connect. Let's get him inside. I cannot hold it. I think Moore also needs medical attention. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Ah, oh, poor Misty. I'm guessing this is more than she bargained for when she uh, 
rented that Pressure unit tanking. to Vic. It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of. I know is, what I'm doing. Is that really necessary? I rather I'm rather fond of my occipital bone. I prefer it in one piece. It strikes me as odd that Devil Main can on occasion bend his own rules. He refused to take Jackie and me to Ripper Dock when Jackie needed medical attention because the destination, the Notel Motel, had already been set. Then I call him, he tells me I'm outside of the, co the coverage area and I just say, oh, please come pick me up. And he's like, oh, no problem, I I'm on route. Then we get inside the car and he, uh, and he won't drive us anywhere unless Takemura finds a way to uh, uh, plug me into the car so my identity can be verified. I mean, what? What is up with that? The one time I really needed him to bend the rules for Jackie, he didn't do it. Did he have something against Jackie? Is that one main the reason Jackie is dead? How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Hi Takemura. Looking none too worse for wear. Unlike me, I imagine. How much time has passed? I appear to be drifting in and out of consciousness. Oh yeah, that, that probably helped a lot. Thanks, buddy. V, you in there? Ah, my head. How you feeling? Well, I know it's still 2077. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know, Vic. Ears are ringing, but I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations, describe them to me. Blinding lights, it's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic and I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plan a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing funny there. Nothing there to laugh about. Yeah, exactly. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. You mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head? Right now? That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. Yeah, and Jack and I drank his drink. Bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. No, that's not true. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Think you can top the terrorist in my brain? <laughs> the biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. So what you're saying is I'm his Arasaka Tower all over again. V, it's important you get all this. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing you. Don't believe an ounce of the horse shit coming from your mouth. Know why? Because it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Whatever's happening to me, there's a logical explanation. Gotta be. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? I wanted to avoid that. You want the long story or the short? Uh. Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay. There was, is, 
A construct. A psyche on the chip. One might even say Johnny Silverhand. An engram. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber. You lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. You're Dr. Victor and I'm your monster. Perfect. <laughs> your body's only a body. You can modify it, replace it with chrome, hell, get a new one altogether. What? How? Your mind, though? Oh, that's a whole nother story. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic. Inevitable. And neither of you can stop it. So I'm basically being formatted out of existence so that uh, another program can be written in my place. Can't we just take the chip out? Or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Fuck. I remember this thing. Saw it on TV. What was that stupid slogan? Soul something? Secure your soul. But that's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe. But this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. Vic. You've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please, Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? I can tell that that conversation was uh, too much for Vic. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. I know, not on Come purpose. Come on, Let's get you home. The burning question for me, actually I have two questions. Number one, if Jackie had left the shard in his own neural slot or neural socket. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. Would he be alive right now? With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. That's grim. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Okay. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. I gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Shouldn't it be more dented? Promise you'll try to get some sleep. Okay, let's not feel too sorry for myself. Misty, wait. Uh, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you. Like lots. We got into a fight. Right before he went off to do this job. Jeez, the cards were really stacked against him, weren't they? I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. 
But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Okay. Those look like really comfortable pants. So the second question I have is, what was the other poor decision by Mr. Deshawn that Vic was talking about? He used a uh, gun with a low caliber, but what was the other poor decision? Did he shoot me at the wrong angle or something? He, he never explained it. Maybe I misunderstood something, but I got the impression that it wasn't just a low caliber. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. That's not necessary, Johnny. Let's be friends. That can't be good for you. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? So one of my hands is still bloody. Don't smoke. Then go out and get some. You just need one last one. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? What? Fucking ghost off! I leave the apartment. Guess we have nothing else to say. <laughs> also, this Who guy you work for? Start talking. He's in my head. How is leaving the apartment going Fuck. to do any good? Fuck. Yeah, still bloody. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. How did I survive that? Ugh. Ouch. I'll find a way. Just you get out of the me? hospital. That's not necessary. Uh, and there is a concussion on top of that the bullet wound. See you never, asshole. Now like that. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. <laughs> Ouch. I can feel it. Our minds touching. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? Yeah. I'd puke if I fucking could. Same here. Just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. I'm gonna kill you. Get out of my head. No. Let's just take the meds. Oh, fuck me. I think that's pretty much the most accurate description of that situation. Please, wash off that hand. Yes, that one. Thank you. Am I still overburdened? No. Well, dear Mr. V, I'd like to inform you that Mr. Wall's body has been delivered to his family. Okay. Can we just turn this off? So you peeps open up and nope. all hang out today. Could catch a break starting on a new chapter, a new book, a new life. Nah. I think I might actually be under the I might I might be overburdened. Let's, right, let's just go and drop some stuff off. I have a few iconic weapons. Oh my goodness, this music. Alright, let's 
stuck up on ammo. Just do the optional objectives real quick. Seriously, how can I not turn this off? Oh, here we go. Open the inventory and put some clothes on. Okay, let's see, where are the Yorinobu's clothes? Picked some of those up, I know I did. Yorinobu slacks. Very Noble's formal shirt. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Check email. Late on the rent. Takemura here. Hey, buddy. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. All right. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Hey, I kind of saved I yours as well. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. All right, fair enough. Fair enough, Dr. Ah, man. shit! Okay, what else we got? Mega Building Administration informs you that the vehicle is avail available for collection in nearby garage. We wish you a pleasant day. Alright. Park Moss, the best weapon against capitalism is uninterrupted meditation. I don't think so. I do not think so. Alright, let's see where we stand. 14 attribute points, 19 perk points available. Uh, Hard reset, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. What matters now is that you are still alive, and when there is life, there is hope. You've got no choice now but to get back in the game and up the stakes. Play it again. Johnny Silverhand, the legendary rocker boy who brought the fight to Arasaka 50 years ago and paid the ultimate price. Now he's back as a digitized construct on a biochip jammed in your brain, slowly but surely overriding your consciousness. If you don't find some way to get rid of him, you're as good as dead. Great. That's the pep talk I needed. The countdown. Bad news from Vic. The biochip is going to gradually kill you by overriding your mind with another neural network. The result? Your consciousness will get wiped and you'll cease to exist. Seems there is no seems there is no clue how to stop it or if it's even possible. But you won't just give up without a fight. Evelyn Parker, Anders Hellman, the guy who was on the screen talking with Yori Nobu before Yori Nobu spoke to some mystery man on the phone. Or was that a continuation of the conversation? Because Evelyn walked in, your Nobu decided to have the conversation over the phone and not uh, via the screen. That could actually be. Arasaka, you have to track down every lead to make it through this alive. Alright, sounds like a challenge. And we have quests popping up left and right. So let's see what we have. We have, fetch your vehicle from the parking garage. Obviously, my next destination. And because the lockdown on Watson has been lifted, I can now go and take part in other boxing matches. Though, it may be a good idea to give it a couple of days, let that concussion uh, wear off before I start taking more punches to the face. Okay, we already had this one and that one. Get your reward, now I can go and see Wakako. She obviously already paid Jackster. That's how he got the bike, but uh, she has not paid me yet. Playing for time. All right, let's um, okay. Let's go ahead and unload all this stuff I have been carrying. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. Ninety. Uh, I was gonna say ninety gold for that. Ninety euro dollars for that. Good money in these in some of these things. And the bonuses, they don't weigh anything. Yeah. I'm gonna sell these grenades because they do have weight. They're not really worth picking up if you're not gonna be using them. Just for selling, I mean, they're worth close to nothing. Weight per value, who knows? Maybe they're decent, but 
because they're so light. Packs, non-lethal weapon, resist, negative status effect, another one. No, wow, three of those. Armadillo. All right, let's see what we have. We have memory wipe. Uh, synapse burnout. This one is lethal, also costs five RAM, which so I'm never going to be able to cast it. Even if I could, I wouldn't because it's lethal. So I'll sell that. Short circuit. Okay. And sonic shock. Deafens the target, reducing your ability to detect enemy sounds. So basically it's like um, what resetting their vision does, except this is for their hearing. So I can cast that on an enemy and run around them without having to sneak, I think. So target analysis. All your weapons are non-lethal, requires smart link. Get rid of those. Wow, I have a lot of them. Increases charge damage by 10. Charge damage of what? Oh, mono wire. Durr. Devastating Berserk. Blade. Thermal damage. Two of those. A bunch of trash. That's actual junk. 81 for all those items. Oh. Oh, I never went through this category. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have this equipped. Get rid of that. Of course. There we go. Alright, hacked Militech data shard, data bank. Did I ever get that actual money or Saburo's dog tag? I'm gonna keep that. Might be might be relevant and or useful later. These don't really weigh anything, so I can just keep stacking them. Alright, that's that. We got a bunch of money. Got another drive. I have to go to the gold rush. But first, Barry, we know you're in there. We're here to help. Nadia and Juan. Oh, this guy is from Max Stack. Cut the bullshit. Just open up. We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. He didn't really do anything. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Maybe don't have this conversation at that volume that close to the door. Hey, what's what going on? Want, I live right upstairs. Wait, what? Just keep on living. Stop mining other people's biz. Ah, uh, okay. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. This guy's a charmer. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? Well, less. Struck up a combo once or twice. So, so. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petropa. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! <laughs> Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Yeah, sure. sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's we'll see what I can do. I imagine cops don't have a monopoly on that. Hey, Barry. Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Try again later. But soak in that sun while you can. There's a cold front moving in. Prepare for cooler conditions. All right, now this should take me to the elevator leading to the garage. Scientists from Biodyne Systems have announced a breakthrough. In Hello, I'm Arif Iqbal with WNS News. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Ryan has passed away. That was sudden. We learned of Mayor Ryan's death from his family. He died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Of course he has. Today, we all mourn the untimely loss of our mayor and dear friend, Lucius Ryan. But when we've dried our tears, we must look to the future. To the future Lucius envisioned for our fair city. 
I promise to do everything in my power to ensure his work will continue on. Rest in peace, my friend. Could you look? Ryan's political opponent, former district attorney Jefferson Perales, also offered his condolences. Look, Mayor Ryan and I often did not meet eye to eye on political matters. And we sometimes traded sharp words. But even after our most heated debates, we always shared a handshake of mutual respect. Today, I say farewell to him for the last time. Thank you, Lucius, for everything you've done for our city. Who next will assume Ryan's mantle? We'll find out soon. The first polls following Ryan's death reveal a neck and neck race between Holt and Perales. Now, a word from our sponsors. So, yeah, I don't know how much time passed uh, since the heist, but Lucius Ryan and Weldon Holt had a meeting with Arasaka representatives. And um, Lucius was um, sort of putting up a fight against something the Arasaka reps wanted from him. Because it was election season, you know, not because of some high principle. But him dying so soon after is suspicious. Is it because he was less than willing to do their bidding? He became inconvenient. What the? Oh, what? The? John, see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Yeah. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. Yeah. Yeah. Look at my car, man. It's totaled. Not only did he drive away from the scene of an accident. Please accept our sincerest apologies regarding traffic incident. The Delmar Corporation cordially invites you to its main headquarters to assess damages and reach compensation. Oh, and here comes Regina with a with a car offer immediately. How did you know that I need a new ride? Also, that Delamain was was waiting for me in ambush. This was Forget the fact that he drove out of here without, you know, exchanging information. He waited for me, waited for me to get into my car. Then, I mean, he was parked right there. He slammed into me and then he, uh, he ran from the scene of the accident. And this Galena is right in the same parking structure. All right. Let us see what we have to work with. So, a new reported crime has popped up. Another one. Now, unfortunately, I have outleveled these. This one is danger very low, and this one is danger low. Ideally, I'd want them to be danger moderate, but what are you going to do? Okay, this is to purchase a vehicle, playing for time, and then we have a side job that is also danger very low. Hate seeing that, but no choice unfortunately all right let's see charter street this one is close to clarendon street all right so the plan is go and do those missions and i think i'm going to wait for a little bit before meeting with uh, takimura see what i have to work with for the rest of the map and if i've badly started to out level some of the areas i'm going to rush over there because meeting with takimura is a main mission and those missions tend to uh, tend to give a lot of experience so if i'm already out leveling some of these side activities uh, doing more main missions is just going to aggravate the problem however that will be for next episode thank you very much for watching and bye for now